Hi, this is Elise Schaefer with Feed and Grain Magazine at the International Feed Expo, and I'm here with uh, Johnny Wheat, Senior Vice President of 4B Components. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about this product demonstration you have behind you, Johnny? Yes, I'd like to um, introduce um, a new product that we have on the market. It's a speed testing device for testing the very, very popular M800 speed switch. Um, the M800 is probably the most popular speed monitoring device in the feed and grain industry and uh, it's so popular because it's so easy to install and so reliable. I can just first of all show you how that is set up and how it's calibrated and what it's going to do is it's going to monitor the shaft speed of a bucket elevator or a belt conveyor so that if the belt started to slip and the shaft started to slow down at 10% under normal speed we will get an alarm at 20% below normal uh, speed we'll get a shutdown. So, here we have the M800 speed switch installed on a whirly gig on a shaft and I can show you what's inside the, the whirly gig here. If we take the cover off of the whirly gig there is a, uh, a target. This has actually got four targets on the uh, device. And as the shaft turns the sensor picks up the targets through the cover of the whirly gig. The whirly gig is mounted to the machine's shaft by drilling and tapping the shaft and mounting with a half inch UNC thread or you can use the optional magnetic coupler. This magnetic coupler screws onto the whirly gig and will magnetically couple directly onto the shaft without any drilling or tapping. Okay. So this device is mounted on the shaft. First of all, you must make sure that you do not introduce any material into the elevator. Make sure that the belt is tight and everything is running normally. The belt is not slipping. We then take the magnet which comes with the M800 uh, whirly, whirly gig and we calibrate the M800 by placing the magnet on the calibrate area. The green light is starting to flash, showing us that we're calibrating. The green light will flash back to verify that it's calibrated and will come on steady. You'll notice that the red light is flashing continuously. This is each time it's detecting the target on the shaft. Now, if the speed drops by 10%, we should get an alarm, which can be connected to an alarm horn or connected to the machinery feeding the elevator or the conveyor. And then at 20% below normal speed, we should get a shutdown, the machinery should stop. Now, we can verify this and test this by placing a putty knife between the M800 whirly gig and uh, the, the whirly gig cover. And when, when we do that, we should get an immediate shutdown. The shaft has stopped, so we know that the sensor is installed correctly, it's wired correctly to the uh, machinery shutdown, and everything has stopped. Now this has been the normal way of testing this switch for many years. Now we have a new device which will actually test the 10% alarm point and check and verify that that actually shuts down at 20% below normal speed. So let's start the elevator up again. This is the new device, it's called the Speedmaster with Pulse Pilot. And the nice thing about this device is handheld, battery operated. You do not need to remove anything or disconnect anything on the system. The system stays the same as you're testing it. So by placing the Pulse Pilot between the M800 and the Willy Gig cover, the handheld system starts to detect the pulses. The shaft is running at approximately 100 RPM. We've got four targets, so we're getting 400 or so pulses per minute. We calibrate the unit by pressing calibrate here. We're now telling this handheld unit that this is the normal running speed. Okay. We can verify a 10% under speed is at 365 pulses per minute. A 20% under speed is at 324 pulses per minute. And here's the very clever thing about this. We can now change this to output mode. Changing this to output mo mode blocks the pulses from the whirly gig and injects the pulses into the M800 speed switch. So now the system is monitoring what I've got on the display here, not what's on the machine. So now I can start to drop the speed down. And when I reach the 10% speed under speed point, I should get an, an alarm. And for this demonstration, the alarm is connected to that light up on the display there, and that should start to flash. Okay, exactly at 90% or 10% below normal speed, we get the alarm. And then at 20% below normal speed, the shaft should stop. So when it reaches 80 RPM on the display, 
Exactly, it has stopped. So now we have verified in, in real time the reality of this machine. We've tested it thoroughly, not a simulated test, an actual test from the front end of the speed switch all the way through the control system. So you can be absolutely 100% assured that the system is functioning correctly. The, the old me method of testing was just verifying that it would shut down. Um, now they can be absolutely assured that it will shut down at the exact point it's required to, at 20% below normal speed. Uh, previously, they didn't actually know that. Now they do. Carrying on with the same uh, um, theme of testing and verifying the system, we have a, a tester for the bearing temperature uh, monitoring system. Behind the Whirly Gig, we have a bearing temperature sensor, and we can disconnect that with the tool and remove the bearing uh, temperature probe. And we can place this probe in our, in our handheld tester here, set the trip point of what the temperature needs to be to alarm or shut down the machinery. And this is now heating that probe up to 122, 123 degrees. And when it reaches that point, we should get the alarm or the shutdown. And so this is actually testing and verifying, again, the sensor the wiring, the control system, everything. And there's our alarm, it's just reached 120 degrees. Great. We've looked at speed monitoring, we've looked at bearing temperature. I mean, one other very important uh, hazard monitoring uh, uh, sensor we need to look at is belt misalignment. And this device here, the, uh, the touch switch device, this is uh, mounted on the side of the elevator or conveyor. And as the belt comes over and touches this, this is a hardened stainless steel, it activates um, the, the sensor. And we can see as the belt comes over, it's not heat generated, it's force activated, and that will give you an alarm and a shutdown. And we, here we have one mounted on the side of the elevator. And the nice thing about this is, again, to test it, it's very simple. You turn the test knob on here until the light goes out. We get the alarm or the shutdown, and then you can turn this back until the test is loose again, and then you're back and set. So again, it's very simple to test and verify the whole system. So you're 100% assured that everything is working correctly. Great. Well, thank you for sharing your new products with us, and uh, good luck with the show. Okay, thanks thank very you. much, Elise.